What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today we're doing a review on a device that Brie got sent to her for the purposes of my review. Not really. She bought it. But she went on this little thing. So let me tell you a story. We all love when I break shit. We all love when I throw shit up in the air. Well, Brie likes it entirely too much. So she said, I'm going to get you a bunch of shit that makes absolutely no sense. And then you could do a review on it and you could figure it out. Because... I sure was in hell camp by looking at the pictures. Well, I don't know if you watched the other video where I had that lovely one that looked like the tip of something. If you haven't seen that review, I'll just go ahead and I'll post a link right there. So I have a lot of these. They're really friggin' awkward. They're from no-name companies. Some of them are really, really pricey for them being from a company that means absolutely nothing. This is a great example. When this was bought, it was in the $70 price tier. However, it has since gone down in a matter of a week, and now it's $30. Also, this company is predominantly known for having pictures on the website that are linked directly to Vapor DNA. What makes it even more weird is they didn't even try to remove Vapor DNA from the picture. And when you look up the device that they have from Vapor DNA, it has nothing to do with Vapor DNA, and v Vapor DNA has never carried it. I'm not quite sure what they're doing there. They might have the name of their business in China as Vapor DNA, stealing the logo, or maybe at one point in time they had one of their mods and they took pictures with it and then they used it on their website. I, I have no idea. Even looking at this website, this shit is horrible. To translate, a lot of the stuff can't be translated because they're images with Chinese on it. Let's not ignore the fact that the name of the company is Locomotive Group Organization. Locomotive Crossing Original. What? The only correlation I could see between vaping and locomotives is the clouds that they produce. What? I'm just gonna car start calling vaping eating fruits because you hold it like you would a banana. This is the package that it comes in. Ironically enough, the design of this is actually better than a device that's much more costly than this is. Also, my arc nemesis. The good old dot RDA, the 24 and the RDTA, the one that I got naked in. This is going to be fun. Good times right here. It's going to be lots of anxiety and brain attacks and heart attacks while I'm doing this review. So just get prepared. You know, if something goes down, get, get someone on the phone. Tell somebody you know that you love. Jay's going down like a sack of potatoes. Let's flip it. This is called the King of Clubs mod. This is definitely not a mod inside of here. I'm not quite sure what that says right there. 9EK. Psych. Psych! LCOVape.com. Go ahead and give that a visit. You know, it'd be really cool if I can make a certain thing on the screen, a link, sort of like old school annotations where you just click it and it brings you to another site. Those were obnoxious as shit, taking up half the damn screen, no way, no how. All right, on the top, local vape 98K. I guess there's the answer of what that says. RDA made in China. This is a quite awkward packaging situation here. Inside the peripheral patch, you're going to have one big ass clear pineapple flavored o ring, Allen key, a spring. The way that the dripper works is the screw that's in there now can only be adjusted with your fingers. It can't be adjusted with a tool unless you use a pair of pliers or something. However, they do include that in the package if you do want to use a flat or Phillips head as a post screw. But the one that's installed, you have to use your fingers. When this was purchased, it was 70 beans. Now, it's only 30 beans. Another thing worth mentioning is this was purchased as silver, but we got the gold and the black rendition, which is not what I wanted. This is much more solid than the Dot 24, and they're still utilizing the same type of post configuration. I would have thought that that would have been the end of the Dot 24 post mechanism, but that's not the case at all. It is alive and well, which I wish someone would just off it. So to really give you a difference here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them apart just so you could see what is going on here. Take the drip tip out because that wouldn't be fair with that in. Zero grams. Let's go ahead and weigh the Dot 24. 20, 22 grams is what that weighs. Check this out. 47 grams. What we are presented with is a very awkward situation. We have kind of a cheaper end, but it's not so cheap after all. 
dripper from a no-name company that has the same style of build deck and everything, but it's more solid and built better than its, I guess we'll call it its predecessor. What does that say about Dot Mod? I guess that further confirms this. Now let's go over this dripper because this is gonna be very, very unique. On the bottom, of course, it's gold plated. What would a dripper be without a good old fashioned gold plating? Very difficult to see the serial number that is 317, 98K on the top of the 510. Very difficult to read all of this. The King of Clubs. Oh man, that is rough to read. I have no idea. Drip tip on the top is going to be 810. Has these little cuts into it. They're not gonna feel comfortable when you put your lips to that. That's all I'm saying right now. It's just gonna be weird. Now when you take the drip tip out, check this out. Ultim, it being 810 compatible is always a win. Let's take the rest of this apart. Very thick. Now that is not always a good thing because usually the thicker the metal, the more that it's gonna retain heat. However, it does have a little bit of an insert up here, which does not seem to come out. It doesn't thread out. I guess it's just really something that they put in there either to make up for the open space so you could put an a10 in here or maybe they did do it tactfully so the heat doesn't transfer through the drip tip onto your mouth and your lips conical shape in there there's some grooves and such it looks like they took the dot 24 and just made it that much better by adding different things that were fucked up on the original maybe that's not what it is maybe that's the way that i'm seeing it inside there you're going to see a nipple and that is to get a hold of this track so as you put this down no matter what you do it's only going to rotate through that track thus giving you proper airflow and lining it up every single time now you could see with the post screw what i was talking about there's nothing all you what is that on the top of that that looks like shit that is not supposed to look like, I promise you that it's not supposed to look like that. When I tell you that this is close to the dot .24, you could tell just by looking at this post ensemble. If you use the other screw, it doesn't juice up through the center. All it does is juice on the bottom, right down that little tiny post hole, and then obviously on the other side as well. Not a whole lot of configuration there for it squonking properly all over the cotton. This is gonna be more of a capillary action type dripper than it is more direct feeding unscrew this it's not hard to unscrew I, i'm not quite sure if i i would feel comfortable with just using my fingers to tighten this down but you can grab it and the knurling is there and the post obviously is spring loaded and would you look at that there's actually a ledge. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Wasn't that something that I went over in the dot 24 that they should have made this so it was a little bit of a cut wow talk about shit what is that called deja deja vu vujida i don't know man hello dot mod looks like this company did something you did not also what is unique instead of running both coils directly in here which some people found very easy very convenient i did not again i do smaller builds so it's not really friendly for me what they ended up doing was putting negatives down to the deck not necessarily a bad idea you could almost get away with doing a vertical in this airflow itself does not seem like that is the what they wanted you to do aside from the way this shit looks like on the top up here this is one of these companies that prevail and show their worth you know i don't really mind that kind of gold plating down there on the bottom what bothers me is this because this just it just looks cheap i hate the way that gold plating looks 12 wraps 22 gauge absolutely nothing difficult here so let me show you how this is going to work you have that port down there just going to put that in like so and then this goes in like here well that's a little awkward every time i go to tighten it down it pushes it up mm. So we're gonna be one of those huh what you're gonna want to do to get that to stop from popping out do you see how that's all the way to the right of the port that will work if you try to put it all the way to the left it's gonna pop out every single time what i'm gonna do is do something that i did with the dot that i kind of regret it there we go simple simple bow pimple i don't understand what in the hell is going on with the top of that screw if they respond and say that that was designed like that they are wrong.
is very very low set but I don't want to bring my coils down that low just well because I didn't want to bring them down that low 98k by the locomotive train company I think they're called New Jersey Transit let's bring it on the top all right guys so we are back on top with the 98k and I believe that's by New Jersey Transit or Amtrak sitting on top of the Inakin Oceana so you could tell how much I really like this mod because I just keep on using it for everything the drip tip on this not even that it's gold those cuts in it feel fucking weird you remember when you were a little baby you learned how to walk maybe it was a little bit before that when you were sucking on pacifiers this is what this kind of reminds me of I don't know how I remember that, but I definitely remember it to be a little knobby like this. And that's not even a drip tip that you could get used to. I promise you this, it's very, very awkward. What I do find funny though, is they took everything from the Dot RDA 24 and fixed it. They put a ledge on the post. They kind of did a little bit different where you put one leg into the actual base, which is a little bit flawed just because, well, it has to be perfect the way you have it lined up. And if you put the wire all the way to the left side as you tighten it, because you're turning it, it's gonna push the leg out. I'm getting really good flavor from this. Even even though the coils are not anywhere near the airflow. I don't understand the drip tip. I don't know why they went with that. I don't, I don't know what 98K is. There's a lot about this that I'm just very, very much unsure of. I thought that I was gonna despise this just because it was like the dot RDA 24 or the dot 24 RDTA. It's really not aside from that center post. How could you mess that up, right? Like you made the dot 24 and you made that flat. So as you screwed it down, the legs will come out. And then they came out with the 24 DTA and they didn't fix it. They did absolutely nothing different with the original. And you're expecting different results. Well, I'm not gonna quote the man himself, but if you keep doing the same thing and expecting different results, that makes you crazy. That's verbatim. There might be a word missing out of there, but it's pretty much verbatim, which would mean it's not verbatim. I think verbatim is the company that makes cassette tapes or vinyl records. I'm a little gray in this area. A locking top cap. Don't you love how you could put a top cap on and it only spin? It's funny when a clone company, maybe they're not a clone company, I don't know who this is, but it's funny when you take a company like that. So, no name. Whoever made this, change your name tonight to anything else. The car wheel sounds better than the locomotive auto group. Like, maybe that's not exactly it. All I do know is it has a locomotive in it. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> maybe the person that designed it is a train conductor. Or uh, maybe he's a, a railway expert. Maybe he's good with making the, uh, the jammies that you... Um, you, you put in the railroad tie, I don't know what they're called, spikes? It doesn't really matter. Maybe he just has a thing for locomotive engines. Maybe he has nothing to do with locomotive and maybe that means something else in his language. Like locomotive maybe means vape. You got that new locomotive box mod? Yup. It's great stuff, especially paired with the locomotive dripper. Chicka, 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 chicka. Woo-hoo! Chicka, chicka. Chicka, chicka. Woo-hoo! Chicka, chicka, chicka. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Woo-hoo! Chicka, chicka. Woo-hoo! That's okay. All right. Well, listen. Well, as you could tell, my locomotive engine's really revving up. All in all, I'm not even gonna rate this device because when something has the title of ridiculous, you know what? I'm not even gonna put this in a ridiculous title because I think that they took the dot .24 and made it that much better. How would I rate this device on a zero to 10? Just in spite of dot mod because I think this shit is fucking trash. I'm gonna go with an easy ooh, ooh. six. That's what we're gonna go with, a six. It's not bad, it's really not. If you could get this in stainless steel, it's gonna be much better than the way that it is in black and gold. 
and I've kept it real. Who, who, have you? Jay Hazel.